Guys, what I want to cover for you guys today is um, five stats that you need to know about referrals within your fitness business. Um, we're building out some new trainings for the inner circle, a lot of updated trainings based on the referral trends and patterns um, that we've picked up over the last 12 months. And within my journey of um, studying to make um, all this new training platform for the inner circle members, I came across five really integral pieces of data that I wanna share with you guys, but more so I want you to be able to share this with your staff within your business because one of the issues that we had within our business is actually being able to um, convince our um, convince our trainers on the importance of referrals. So we'd constantly be training them. One of the metrics that we had is that every staff member within our business got at least one referral a week. So we'd kind of sell them on the importance of them, um, but would also use like little stats and data from other people just to kind of really drive home um, the point. And and look, a lot of these stats and data um, you might not be fully aware of. I'm sure that you know that referrals are an easy, easy way to grow your business. Um, and I'm sure you get referrals, but actually this, um, these trends and data that I picked up from a research paper is really, really interesting. And I wanted to share with you guys today. So the first one is that 92% of consumers trust referrals from people they know. So, you know, it's that old quote that um, if someone's like referred to a business is um, the chances of them signing up are absolutely massive and one of the things we're always looking at in referrals especially in a fitness business is a couple of different things firstly that you've got an amazing result with the client right if you get an amazing result people will tell lots of people or often they'll ask so like hey jimmy like you know you're looking fantastic mate you've lost 10 kilos like what's going to happen you're like oh i'm just training down here but then also like the, commu the community of um, the business that you're setting up. It's like really, really important guys, because when someone refers someone to, their, to your business, they're putting their own personal credibility on the line. So just say, for example, if I refer someone to your business, say if I refer my wife, that's my own personal credibility. So when someone does refer someone to a business, it's literally them putting their own personal credibility on the line. And that's why it's so trusted from other people. So you want to make sure that you're really, really focusing on getting amazing results and you're building a community where someone would trust you to look after their wife, their mom, their dad, maybe people they work with. Now, the next one was absolutely um, amazing when I read it and I kind of like thought that referrals had a longer um, customer lifetime value. Um, but I didn't realize to this level and um, the data that I read were customers referred by other customers have a 37% higher retention rate. So that means on average, they stay 37% longer. That is absolutely wild. Cause I was like, when I, um, when I thought about referrals, I was like, yeah, like definitely people who refer stay longer. I didn't realize it was 37%. That could add 37% to your profit margins. And it was absolutely, absolutely wild. And let's imagine how much easier that makes your life. When you get referrals, not only are they going to be more likely to sign up, which we'll talk about, but they stay 37% longer, um, which is absolutely incredible. It's why um, fitness businesses, when you're like just starting out, if you're getting a lot of referrals, it's a sign that you're a really amazing business. Now, the next one, it says that referred customers can increase your profit margins by 25%, right? And there's a couple of reasons for this. So we just covered that they stay longer, also that they're easier to convert as well, which really, really um, saves you a lot of time and a lot of energy. Now, the next point, so under point four is referred customers converted a 30% higher percentage and leads generated from other marketing channels. Now, this is definitely something that I kind of like knew. I didn't realize it was 30%. Um, so a lot of this stuff um, that I'm sharing with you guys today, I'm quite excited because I'm kind of learning this exact data for the first time as well. But um, I've always kind of found that referrals are easy to close when you do it. We did face-to-face -face consults in our business, but also over the, over the phone um, because they're already sold because the person who has like referred them to the business has usually done a lot of the footwork in that, that authority and also trust. But 30% is absolutely massive. So, you know, we want to make sure that we're really focusing on referrals and 
and a lot of the trainings I'm going to give you guys over the next month um, will be kind of like little snippets of the main trainings that we're doing within the inner circle as we're upgrading our retention training. And the last one is a referral program with an incentive or reward can entice more than 50% of people to refer new customers to your business. Now, one of the things that I always say with referrals is having like an incentive and, and reward program, it's not like the main reason that people refer, like just to get two weeks free training of the free hoodie, but it's an amazing reason so that you can ask so that they get benefit. So you want to make sure that anyone who refers someone to your business, that they get an incentive or reward for doing so. When we scaled off Facebook ads, um, we would get a co like cost to acquire a customer at about $120 to $170, just depending on our lead cost at the time. So what that means is just say you got $40 leads, right? And you got four leads that cost you 160 bucks on your paid ads and you close one in four, that would be $160 at your cost to acquire a customer, not including the cost for sales, follow-up, text messages, and all that kind of stuff. That's just your hard cost on your ad. So when someone actually refers someone to your business, it's really highly valuable, probably around that $120 to $200 mark. So you want to make sure that um, when you're getting giving your incentive and reward um, programs that is actually in line with what it really costs you to actually acquire a customer. Now, guys, a lot a lot of um, fitness business owners don't actually know how much it costs um, for themselves at the moment to acquire a customer, um, which could be some really good metrics for you to start to track in your advanced tracking um, KPIs and things like that. You know, we talk a lot about making sure that you're tracking your KPIs every single week because that's what a really professional business owner does. So, guys, I hope I've kind of sold you on some of the benefits for getting referrals or maybe kind of just like flicked a switch of some of the stuff that maybe you definitely knew or you felt was true but now we're putting some like hardline stats on your referrals so look what i would recommend that you do from here is make sure you really dive into the stats and data on the referrals right it's going to help you be a little bit more motivated and have some better understanding around the psychology around getting referrals but more importantly guys if you have someone within your team right you might have one two three, four, five staff members. What we want to do is always be selling them on why we need to get referrals and having stats and data as one of the ways that you sell them to get more referrals within your training with your team is going to be really, really beneficial and integral to make sure they understand the reasons and why it's really important. I hope you got a little bit of value from today's episode. Guys, as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to me on social media anytime. Yeah.